Hi friends, this is Rasa Subbarao along with Manu welcomes you to Green Coach. Green Coach offers online tutorial for various horticulture subjects. Today we are discussing about entomology. Today we are discussing about the digestive system of insect. Let's start out today's class. Digestive system of insects. Digestive system of insects. This is our part 1 and in our part 2 we will see the mechanism of digestion along with the detailed diagram. In this class just we are learning the parts of digestive system. Insects may be phytophagous, entomophagous, wood feeders, or saprophytic. Insects may be phytophagous, entomophagous, wood feeders, or saprophytic. Phytophagous means attacks plants. Entomophagous means attack insects. Wood feeders means feed on wood. Saprophytic means depends upon the sap. The insects, which are solid food feeders, have the biting and chewing type of mouth parts. Solid food feeders have biting and chewing type of mouth parts. Sap suckers are having sucking type of mouth parts. Sap suckers are having sucking type of mouth parts. Sap suckers possess filter chamber. Sap suckers possess filter chamber. Whereas solid feeders possess gizzard. Whereas solid feeders possess gizzard. Elementary canal is extended between mouth to anus. Elementary canal is extended between mouth to anus. The elementary canal is divided into three parts. There are foregut, midgut, and hindgut respectively. There are foregut, midgut, and hindgut. Foregut is also called stomatium. Midgut is also called mesenteron or proventriculus. Hindgut is also called proctorium. Let's see in detail about the foregut. The foregut is extended between mouth to gizzard. The foregut is extended between mouth to gizzard. The foregut consists of the following parts. They are mouth, esophagus, pharynx, crop, gizzard. Mouth, pharynx, esophagus, crop, gizzard. Mouth consists of upper lip labrum and lower lip labium. Upper lip labrum and lower lip labium. Labium consists of mandibles and maxillae. Labium consists of mandibles and maxillae. Pharynx is extended between mouth and esophagus. Pharynx is extended between mouth and esophagus. Esophagus is a narrow part of the foregut. Esophagus is a narrow part of the foregut. Crop is a cyclic structure. Crop is a cyclic structure. Gizzard is the constricted part. Gizzard is the constricted part. It consists of tooth-like denticles helps in grinding of food. Tooth-like denticles helps in grinding of food. It consists of five to six hepatic cecae. It consists of five to six hepatic cecae. In honey bees, the gizzard acts as strainer which separates the pollen grains. In honey bees, the gizzard acts as strainer which separates the pollen grains. The foregut consists of several layers like inner intima layer, epithelial cells layer, basement membrane, longitudinal muscle, circular muscles. The foregut consists of different layers like inner intima layer. epithelial cells basement membrane longitudinal muscles and circular muscles midgut the midgut is also called the proventriculus midgut is also called mesenteron or proventriculus food enters from foregut to midgut through stomodial valve food enters from foregut to midgut through stomodial valve midgut is short and straight tube midgut is short and straight tube midgut consists of peritrophic membrane midgut consists of peritrophic membrane This peritrophic membrane protects the gut from hard food particles. This peritrophic membrane protects the gut from hard food particles. The peritrophic membrane is permeable to digest two enzymes. It is permeable to digest two enzymes. The midgut consists of layers like epithelial cells, basement membrane, longitudinal muscles, circular muscles. Epithelial cells, basement membrane, longitudinal muscles and circular muscles. The epithelial cells again consist of columnar cells, regenerative cells, globular cells. CRG columnar cells regenerative cells globular cells columnar cells are in columnar shape and they consist of microvilli brush border columnar cells are in columnar shape and they consist of microvilli brush border regenerative helps helps in the replacement of columnar cells regenerative cells helps in the replacement of columnar cells globular cells helps in storage and excretion globular cells helps in storage and excretion and the last one is hindgut The hindgut is also called proctodium. The hindgut is also called proctodium. It consists of intima line layer. It consists of intima line. It consists of malfeasant tubules and pyrolytic valve. It contains malfeasant tubules and pyrolytic valve. The hindgut is divided into three portions. They are ileum or ilum, colon, rectum, ileum or ilum, colon or rectum. In some areas it is pronounced as ileum and in some places it is pronounced as ilum. Ileum or ileum is a small intestine. Colon may be present or absent. The rectum consists of rectal papillae. The rectum consists of rectal papillae. It helps in absorption of salts and water. 
it helps in absorption of salts and water salivary glands salivary glands are present in a pair the salivary glands are present in a pair they are present at the base of hypopharynx they are present at the base of hypopharynx they open through salivary ducts they open through salivary ducts they secrete several enzymes like amylases lipases proteases amylases lipases and proteases they also produces anticoagulants like fibronin and saccharin they also produces or secrete the anticoagulants like fibronin and saccharin and the last but not the least is filter chamber the filter chamber is present in the midgut of fluid feeders the filter chamber is present in the midgut of fluid feeders it is thin wall bladder it is thin wall bladder let's see the summary friends today we discuss you know green coach class about the digestive system the digestive system the elementary canal is extended between mouth to anus it is divided into foregut midgut hindgut the foregut is also called stomatium the midgut is also called mesenteron or proventricles the hindgut is also called proctodium the foregut consists of parts like mouth pharynx esophagus crop and gizzard it consists of layers like intima layer epithelial cells basal membrane longitudinal muscles and circular muscles the midgut consists of peritrophic membrane it consists of layers like epithelial cells basement membrane longitudinal muscles and circular muscles the epithelial cells are again divided into columnar cells regenerative cells and globular cells see rg the hindgut consists of three parts or ileum or ilum colon rectum rectum we saw about the salivary glands and the filter chamber that's all for now friends please like and subscribe our channel thanks for watching green coach videos we will update you soon with another video share maximum guys this is rasa subarav along with banu signing off for today if you want to give us any suggestions please comment them in the comment section thank you guys keep supporting us